Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's job is to do some line boring. And what we're line boring are these thumbs. They're a hydraulically actuated thumb for a Kubota mini excavator. The customers started building these a couple years ago and, and uh, the shop that was doing the line boring was doing a horrible job. So he brought them to me and said, hey, can you do this? So I did the first batch. There was three of them uh, four months ago or so and uh, they came out perfect. Now, I've never line board before that, so it was all a learning experience and trying to figure out how to set it up and making the tooling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish setting up. I got the first one mostly in there, and uh, we'll start line boarding. So as you can see here, I've got it set up, clamped down, I got stop set. I have a pillow block bearing out here. This is my outboard support. Now, my boring bar, I made this. Um, because it was hard to find a one inch bar and I wasn't paying six, seven hundred bucks for one. So I made it. It's uh, 4140 pre hard and it's quarter inch square broached holes and a set screw to hold the, hold the tool in. The uh, way I set this is with, believe it or not, a planer gauge. Pretty simple. So let me get the, the cutters in there and we'll get set up and we'll start boring. So we're going to use our Lufkin uh, planer gauge here. And what we're doing is we're setting this depth here, this, this little step, to about 249. So now that we've got our, our planer gauge properly set up, then we take our cutters and they go in our boring bar here. And what I do, and like I said, I never done this before, so it's all new to me. I just slightly put a little pressure on it. And I take my planer gauge and just rotate it around there. So it's touching that cutter. It's hard to see, but that's that's how I set it. Now we tighten that down and then just go back and double check. And we'll do the same thing on the second spot. So we got our cutters all in, now it goes into the into the bores. And we'll just slide it through and slide it into our bearing. And then I'm gonna drive it with the spindle. I've got two feet of spindle travel. And so we'll run the spindle out to it, put it in the collet here. This is a TG150 um, collet chuck. And then uh, we'll clamp her down and we'll drive it, rotational and the feed and make our cut. So let's set up or let's start that.
Well, let's see if we screw up. Should go okay. Beautiful, just like that. I did have a little issue though. Um, <laughs> well, I had to change my uh, one cutter. I was going a little too fast in the beginning and um, broke the in the end of my uh, high-speed steel, but I discovered I was getting a little vibration out here. Now that worked out to my advantage. It was it was just fine. One side was just a touch looser than the other. It's fine. But I'm going to redo my whole setup here, and I'm going to add another bearing just to give myself some more support. final one, the uh, second bearing really improves the quality of the cut, so that's the key. Make sure it's, it's stiff, it can't move. Rigidity is your friend.
there they are. Line board on the Lucas 441B-48 horizontal boring mill. Uh, fun machine, fun project. So with that, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time.